In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between cash and accrual accounting methods. So I say cash accounting versus accrual accounting. Not, we're not talking about some epic battle here, but there's some really stark differences between these two methods. And I think it's important that we understand that uh, in order to go ahead and understand why we even do accrual accounting to begin with. So let's start out with defining what cash accounting is. So when we say cash accounting, what we're talking about is accounting for transactions in the periods in which cash actually changes hands. Account for transactions when cash changes hands. When you actually receive the money or pay the money, that's when we're going to make a journal entry. Now, accrual accounting is different. Accrual accounting, we're not so much concerned with when the cash is actually paid or received. What we're more concerned with is when the activity actually takes place. So now here we're accounting for transactions when they occur. Now when a transaction, a transaction actually occurs is something that could be debated in and of itself. Uh, is it when we actually, someone picks up the phone and orders a sale? And, and we'll have a different video when we talk about when revenue is actually recognized or when an expense is recognized. But we're actually talking about here, we account for these transactions when they occur, not necessarily when cash changes hands. So, let's get to some examples. So, and change colors here. Let's go with bright blue. So, if you have a candy store, you have a small candy store, and you've got a register, someone comes in and buys candy from your register, you're probably better off just using cash accounting. They pay you $10 for candy, you just go ahead and record it. Why is it not a problem with cash accounting versus accrual account? Well, because we don't have something here called accounts receivable. Right? Someone just comes in, they hand you $10 cash. So you go ahead and you just record immediately. So for a transaction like that, we're not really concerned with accrual accounting. But let's take a different type of transaction. Let's assume that you manufacture bicycles. So you come up with a new kind of bicycle. Uh, and you, you think your bicycle is going to be better than any other bicycle on the market because your bicycle has an MP3 player in it. It has a TV screen and, and, and it makes a, a espresso or something. Uh, so you are going to manufacture these bicycles and you get an order of one million for one million dollars worth of bicycles and you're excited you throw a party I just sold a million dollars worth of bicycles to a really large a, a billion dollar retailer and they say we're gonna we're gonna carry your bicycles so when you get this order you're excited but if it's the cash basis you don't record anything under cash basis you do nothing right now why because when that retailer picks up the phone and calls you and says we want a million dollars worth of bicycles, they're not going to send somebody over there to hand you a million dollars in cash. So cash basis, we have no immediate, no entry. We don't do anything. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just put some dates on this. Let's say this happened on December 15th. So now, let's say that we get to, change up again, let's say it's December 31st, and you've got this big order, and an investor asks, how are we doing? Someone who's invested in your bicycle company, they, they gave you a lot of money, uh, now, now they want to ask, you know, how, how is our money uh, coming along? Are you, are you growing our, uh, our investment? How's it going? And what do you say? Well, if it's cash basis, you can't say a whole lot, can you? You just say, well, I guess, I guess we haven't had any sales. We haven't had any sales because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to 
this retailer said that they typically they're not gonna they don't pay their bills for uh, 60 days so I guess sometime in February all of our sudden our company will start doing wonderful well, that that's not acceptable the investor world wants to know how you're doing now you've made this sale and unless you have some reason to believe that you're not going to receive this million dollars, maybe the, this retailer is going bankrupt or something, unless you have some reason to believe that, you've got a million dollars in sales here for all intents and purposes. It doesn't matter that you haven't received the cash yet. You'll get that in February. So the investor wants to know, how are things going now? So what does accrual accounting do? Well, accrual is just going to recognize now. Accrual basis, recognize when you ship those bicycles out. That's a sale. You've, you've done all you've needed to do to complete the transaction. You, you, you manufactured the bicycles. You shipped the bicycles. Now you're just waiting on payment. So if we look back at the accrual accounting, it says when we recognize the transactions when they occur. So you ship the bicycle, the transaction has occurred. So let's let's say that all this this bicycle shipping business, this was uh, December of 2013. So and you get the cash in 2014. So under the cash basis. We've got nothing going on in 2013. Even though you ship the bicycles, there's nothing going on. And then all of a sudden in 2014, if your investor hasn't gotten scared and pulled out the, the money by then, then you're going to have a million dollars in sales. But maybe you never even get to that point. But under the accrual basis, when you ship those bicycles, you go ahead and you recognize that one million. Now, under this accrual basis, we're going to have something odd happening in 2014 because we're going to be receiving a million dollars cash in 2014 but having zero sales. Now, of course, you might sell other bicycles. I'm not referring to that, but I'm talking about when that million dollars comes in in 2014, you do not recognize it. And that might seem odd to some people that you have a million dollars cash coming in, but you're not recognizing a sale. But that's because you already recognize it back here in 2013 in December when you ship the bicycles. So you recognize this under accrual. You recognize the transaction when the transaction takes place. You ship the bicycles. You record the sale from the bicycles. Under the cash basis, on the other hand, you're constantly waiting for cash to change hands, which can really give a distorted picture of what's going on with your business. The investor wants to know what is going on now. They don't care when the transaction is settled in cash. If you made a sale, tell the investors about it. And that's what accrual accounting does. It recognizes transactions in the periods in which they occur rather than the periods in which they happen to be settled in cash.